Okay, and here we have the SQA 2015 National 5 Life Skills Mathematics, Paper 1, Question 3. Freddie and Kamal work in a warehouse stacking shelves. Uh, a section of the warehouse has five shelves. Each shelf is 10 metres in length. The shelves are currently stocked as shown. So shelf 1 has got a box A7, 5, C6, D, E. You can see it all there. Yeah? A new delivery of box H, which is 6 metres, I, which is 5, J, which is 3, K, which is 4, and L, which is 1, arrive to be stored in this section of the warehouse. These new boxes need to be stored on different shelves from the existing stock. Okay, and the existing stock can be rearranged to create space for a new delivery. By writing the letters A to L down below, here we go. Right. What I decided to do was to stock shelves 5 and 4 with the new batch. And the idea, as you may be guessed, is to get combinations that add as close as you can to 10, if not 10, without going over. So uh, just a quick inspection, box H is 6 and box K is 4. 6 and 4 give 10, so I've put them on their own little shelf there. And as you see, when I did the sum earlier, I crossed them out. Uh, the other three, I, J and L, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yep, they can all be put IGL, they can all be put on the one shelf as well. So now we have uh, the problem of the other ones to be stacked in the top three shelves that I've done. Again, try and get as close as you can to 10, if not 10, uh, without going over. Okay, uh, let's see, quick check. C and E add up to 10. So there we go. C and E, there we go, are going to go on that shelf there. What else did I do? B, G and F, B, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, they can all go on the one shelf. There we have it there. B, G and F on the one shelf. And the last two uh, was A and D. Quick check. A is 7 and D is 3. It's 10. 7 and 3 make 10. So they can all go on the top shelf. Quick look at number four. Here we go. Number four. A company orders a batch of washers with a thickness of 0.4 plus or minus 0.05 millimetres. A quality, show, a quality control inspector takes a sample from the batch of washers. The thicknesses in millimetres of the washers in this sample are shown below. So there we have it there. Um, 20 uh, numbers there. Let's have a quick check. What does 0.4 plus or minus 0.05 mean? Well, it's a range of numbers. From not point from 2.4, pardon me, uh, take away 0.5, that's 2.35, to uh, 2.4 plus 0.05, which is 2.45. So 2.35 to 2.45 inclusive means you actually include these numbers if they're actually there, and they're okay. Uh, what I decided to do was to score out the unacceptable one. So as you can see. I tend to think of this, uh, there we go, 2.35 to 2.45, uh, so let's just see, let's see, we'll just go through them, and as you can see, anything out with the range 2.34, too small, they're all okay, okay, 2.46, that's too big, score it out, uh, okay, okay, 2.53, too big, and the others are okay, okay. Uh, for a batch to be accepted, at least 88% of the washers have to be within tolerance, Okay, so here's me just reminding myself that there's 20 washers. Well, 17 out of the 20 were okay. Uh, just above, we only scored out 3. Uh, times them top and bottom by 5 because we want to take the 20 to 100. 5 uh, 17s, maybe you're uh, not so good at your number scores. There we go, there, that's over there. 5 7s, 35. 5 1s, 5. Add the 3, there we go. That's at 85%. Now, the rule was, the rule the guy said, 88%. So, the batch will not be accepted as 85 is less than the 88% that they required. Okay, on to number three, on to number five that you can just see come into view there. A shop sells ice cola in 330 milliliter cans. Individual cans cost 66 pence. Complete the shelf label for ice cola below to show the price per litre. Okay, this is just a, a proportion question. 
Start off 66p for 330ml, so that's set this one over here. Uh, I chose to divide by 11, 66 uh, is uh, 6. Uh, 33 divided by 11 is 3, so 33, 0, 330 divided by 11 is 30. Okay, 6p for 30 mils divided by 6 again, obviously it's a wee bit, uh, uh, be very slow here. That means 1 pence for 30 divided by 6, 5 mils, just taking my time here. Uh, 5 mils uh, times that by 200 because we want 1000 millilitres, that's a litre. Times that by 200, of course, you get 200 pence for uh, 1,000 millilitres, which is a litre. So, back in completing the table there, 1 litre, 200 pence, or £2, I'm sure they'd be okay with that. Okay, on to number 6, a very wordy one here. Uh, Wordy and uh, quite a lot of uh, quite tricky calculations here. Mary buys 200 shares for £700. When she decides to sell them, the share price has dropped to £2.75 per share. She has to pay a fee of 2.5% of her selling price when she sells her shares. Calculate the loss that she made. Okay. Well, first of all, let's see what she actually uh, got for selling her shares. That's obviously 200 times £2.75. 200 can be broke down into 2 times 100 times £2.75. 100 times £2.75 is 275 Times that by 2, you can see my uh, little calculation there, 550 So, she sold her shares for £550. Uh, she's also got to uh, pay 2.5%. Um, now, how did I do that? Well, I did it nice and slow. 10% of 550, 55, 5%, half of 10%, half of 55, maybe you can do it in your head, some over here anyway, £27.50, you could do that as a chimney sum, uh, half of 5 is 2.5, so 2.5% is half of that, again you can see the sum uh, done here, there it is there, so she sold them for £550, but she's got to pay £13.75, so she eventually sold them for £536.25. And the question was, how much loss did she make? So, she bought them for £700, that's in the very first line up above. Take away the 536.25, okay, and a lot of cancelling out here, £163.75. Answer the question, she made a loss of £163.75.